everybody can have extensions. Um, a lot of people with shorter hair that just want fullness get extensions, or like if you want them for length, people get extensions for that. Um, like if you are thinning, like some people that grow longer in the back and shorter on the sides, you can just do a partial extension. So you just get a couple here on the sides to even you out from the back to the front. So honestly, like anybody, if you feel like you're thin or you want longer, like there's a whole bunch of different reasons people get extensions. My name is Hannah Taylor and this is my advice. So I'm a hairstylist at Making Waves Hair Salon. Um, one of the services that I specialize in are hair extensions. I brought a mannequin. So two of the types of extensions that we do are tape-in extensions and um, beaded extensions. The extensions are put underneath a layer of your hair. These extensions are the beaded eye tip extensions. So you can see they're just in with individual beads. They just go in row by row, like all over the head. And then these ones are the tape ins. They're a little bit thicker. It's in with a piece of adhesive, just single sided or double sided tape. One piece of tape goes on the hair, a piece of your natural hair goes in between, and then another piece of tape goes on top. The tape and extensions are a little bit cheaper um, because the eye tips are more tedious. I would say if you have thinner hair, the eye tips probably would blend better um, because they are so small and it matches your hair a lot better. So with tape and extensions, a full head installation usually takes about 45 minutes to an hour. Um, so it is an adhesive. So a piece of tape goes underneath and then a piece of your natural hair goes in between and then another piece of tape goes on top. And like I said before about the single sided extensions, so a piece of hair would go underneath, your natural hair would go in between, and then a piece of single sided tape would go on top. So it's not stick, so it's only sticky on one side. So these beaded ones, it just takes a little square of your natural hair and you loop it through with the extension hair and with the bead and then you clamp it in and it just sits in there. This is the natural hair. So you can see how a little bit shorter it is. And then this is the extension. So with the tape, yes, you can still wash your hair, um, but you probably would wanna go like every two, every three days. You don't wanna wash every single day because the shampoo can wear or eat away at the adhesive in the tape and can cause them to not be as sticky and fall out. The ones with tape are not as expensive just because it's not as tedious and you don't need as many pieces of hair since the ones with tape are a little bit wider. Um, and then the ones that are beaded in are more tedious and it takes more time for the installation. That's why they're more expensive. In between visits, the hair is real hair. So you can wash it, curl it, straighten it. Um, it just feels like your natural hair. It doesn't really feel that a lot different from whatever your natural hair feels like. The hair itself can last you up to like two or three years as long as you're taking care of it. Um, you just have to come back every eight weeks and get the tape replaced or get your beads replaced. For tape and extensions, a full head, that term usually means four packs of extensions and there's 10 pieces in each pack. So that gives you 40, piece, 40 pieces of extensions. Um, and then when you do double sided, which is what she has in her hair, which is the tape underneath and then the tape on top, gives you 20 sandwiches. Um, and then single sided, um, you only really need maybe two and a half, three packs because you're doing 20 sandwiches. So you only really need 20 pieces of hair through the head with single sided versus 40 pieces when you're doing double sided. The beaded rows, if you're doing a full head, the average is five packs. They come 20 in a pack for five packs. Um, they go four rows in the back, usually a row of 10, 15, and then three rows on the sides. Um, if you're looking for extensions, but you don't know what hair type you have, or you don't really know if the type of hair that you have works well with extensions, um, we can talk about that in the consultation, but like thin hair, we could do like single sided extensions, which is just one piece of extension versus two pieces. So it's not as heavy, it's lighter on your hair. Um, and then like people with thicker hair usually is better because you have more hair to hold on to with the extension. Um, but realistically, like it doesn't matter how thin your hair or how thick your hair is, there's always some sort of way that we can make it work for the extensions. If you were to like order your own extensions online 
and try to put them in yourself. Tape ins, I would say, would be a little bit harder to do by yourself because you can't really see the back of your head. And since the tape is so sticky, you could get crosshairs, which would cause breakage. Um, crosshairs being like you have a straight section and then you have a piece of hair from somewhere else in that section that's over when you tape over it and then that crosshair could break, which causes the breakage. One concern that you might have is matching your own hair color. Both sets of extensions that we order from, they have a ring of different colors to color match. So there's like 50 to 100 different colors that we can color match. So it really is a custom color blend for your hair color. Typically to get extensions so that they actually blend if you wanna go longer, I would try to have at least shoulder length or maybe even chin length. That way you have some hair to work with to cover the extensions. Um, but if you're looking more for fullness and you have hair that's shorter than your chin, I would say that you could do the beaded extensions because they're so small, it's gonna be hard for anybody to tell that they're actually in there. If you are looking for extensions for a special event, such as a wedding, um, retirement party, dance, anything, I would suggest doing them maybe like two weeks in advance, just because when you first put the extensions in, they're so close to your scalp that they're a little tight and can be a little sore and give you a headache, so you don't really want that on your special event day. Um, so when you put them in two weeks prior, it gives your hair a little bit of wiggle room to grow, and then the extensions aren't as tight, so it gives it more space whether you wanna pull it up or wear it down just might be a little bit more comfortable for you. Here are some of before and afters of my clients. This first one is Jen. She has previous perming and has some breakage on her ends. So we added 18 inch extensions to her hair. I did not color her hair. Um, we color matched with the extensions and I just smoothed and curled and this is her after. Another client of mine is Hannah. She has short hair. She doesn't have a whole lot of breakage um, a little bit of natural frizz. So we colored her natural hair a little bit darker and added dimensions on her end, some blonde ones and some brown ones to give her some dimensional highlights without putting highlights in her natural hair. And I just straightened to style for this one. This is Trish. She has a little bit of breakage on her ends, but she was mostly looking for length and maybe some highlights. Her hair was too dark to highlight so we added blonde and brown highlights um, in the extensions to give her a faux balayage look. Balayage is a new term some of you may not be familiar with. What it means is hand-painted highlights. So typically your highlights go in foils, whereas balayage is hand-painted with a brush and either sits in open air or sits with some like saran wrap type of material over top of it. This is my client Eden. She's a natural blonde, but we do highlights to brighten her up a little bit. As you can see, she has a good bit of breakage around her ends. So we added 18 inch extensions. I color matched her blonde extensions and this one is straight to style. As you can see from these before and afters, hair extensions work with all types of hair types and textures. That's why we encourage consultations to get you color matched and to just get a feel for the type and texture hair you do have so we can give you the best extension fit for your hair. You don't have to be born with beautiful hair to have beautiful hair. I'd like to say that again. You don't have to be born with beautiful hair to have beautiful hair.